señoras aquí presentes, bienvenidos a esta lucha aguerrida que los limpiadores de la Universidad El Soas y universidades vecinas estamos liderando en busca de un trato digno a los trabajadores de la limpieza. Ladies and gentlemen, here today, welcome to this struggle that we, the cleaners at SOAS and the other universities around here, are fighting against SOAS and the other universities for dignity and justice. Quiero traer a mi memoria en este día a un par de analfabetas quienes fueron mis padres y que por circunstancias del tiempo y de la vida ya murieron. Un par de analfabetas donde, nos enseñe, donde me enseñaron el principio digno, básico y real en la vida que es respetar a los seres humanos con igualdad de derechos, de condiciones y calidad de vida. to tell you about two illiterate people that were my parents that have since deceased but have taught me the basic dignified lesson that we should all respect human beings and their equal rights. También me enseñaron y estoy seguro que en, prácticamente en todos nuestros hogares nos enseñaron que en la escuela, el colegio y la universidad se agrandaban estos deberes y derechos de la sociedad. that in educational institutions like schools, uh, high schools, universities, that is where these rights are taught and most felt. So, yes. Es triste saber que hoy en día nosotros trabajamos en una de las cunas más fundamentales en el Reino Unido donde nacieron los derechos humanos y donde día a día se fomenta la educación y día por día se violan más nuestros derechos. when day by day they're teaching about human rights and violating ours. Compañeros de la limpieza, hoy los invito a trabajar cada vez más con aquello que nos enseñaron, con la honestidad y la, de, y la dignidad y a no tener vergüenza, aún sigamos siendo explotados por, por la oligarquía, por la gente de poder y que tristemente se siguen beneficiando del trabajo honesto que nosotros día a día buscamos para el sustento de nuestras familias. I would invite you to keep working and keep fighting for dignity and honesty and to not be afraid or intimidated by the fact that day by day we're being exploited by those who are in power. pagas, 
ser contratados directamente por la universidad. Tres principios, tres necesidades elementales para la gente que día por día tenemos, vivimos en una sociedad igual para todo el mundo, pero que nos miran como si no fuéramos parte de hoy en día de este mismo círculo que rodea este mundo. holidays, a pension, and to work directly for SOAS are three things that we're demanding in the name of equality, even though we're here every day surrounded by people who don't see us as equals in this society. Gracias en general a la comunidad presente por apoyarnos en esta lucha y le hago un llamado muy especial a las directivas de esta universidad a que nos cambien esta visión y a calmar este sufrimiento que estamos viviendo. Demuéstrenos la cultura que ustedes tienen y háganos ver que realmente somos personas honestas, humildes, pero muy trabajadoras. Muchas gracias. this community that's been supporting us and end by saying by calling the attention of the people in charge of the university to reward us for the, the dignified and honest yet humble work that we're doing. one would normally associate with overseas factories or 1880s Britain. It is absolutely despicable that in central London, in the 21st century Britain, we have this. It's absolutely despicable. Now, apparently the governors are not meeting now, but I'm going to ask them some questions. Do they not think that the cleaners who work here every single day are not human beings? Do they not think that they get sick occasionally, that they need to visit their family? 
and need to think about their futures? Do they think that these things aren't a reality for those that work in their institutions? <laughs> they've been proven to make good financial sense. There was a campus ballot earlier this year of staff and students which showed that the majority are in favour of bringing staff in-house. The staff who work here know the ins and outs, the daily grind of working here at South are in favour of bringing staff in-house. Yet apparently to SOAS, the, the views of staff and students, they do not matter. They do not matter because SOAS cares more about money than it does human beings. And that's the reality. Now, I, I, I've got a little, I've got kind of a well-known secret that I like to share with you all. That is that we at Yulu and you at SOAS have a shared, have a mutual and a common hatred for one particular individual. Yeah! Now this man has no morals. This man is a coward. This man has no conscience. This man is the SOAS Vice-Chancellor, Paul Webley. <laughs> to those participating in the Governor's meeting today, I have a promise. That is, we are not satisfied and will not be satisfied until the University gives us the, the demand to bring cleaners in-house that they end the victimisation and the bullying that goes on every single day in their campus but they wish that they could forget. And that if they do not, and that if they do not, come September, when it becomes important to them, we will begin to occupy those buildings. <laughs> And then the, the students and staff said bye-bye management building. Now let me tell you, that happened in Sussex only a few months ago. That is so as November 2013. This campaign is about justice, it's about liberty, but it's also about solidarity. All of you may not be from service, but you came here today because you felt this is working in your common interest. Our movement, the workers' movement for 200 years, has been built, has laid its head on the issue, on the principle of solidarity. So I ask you to raise your hands. What do we want? What do we want?
between us to clean that this building. That's a mandate. Even my union would find it difficult not to follow through on. <laughs> is it won't be 44 cleaners standing out here on the picket line. It'll be 44 cleaners plus the other 200 cleaners and badge members in this university. It'll be 44 cleaners plus every single UCU activist in this university. It'll be 44 cleaners and 4,000 students that'll be out in the picket line. <laughs> Thank you. 
at the victory celebrations in the new term. Solidarity forever. <laughs> company Ocean wanted to reduce our working hours first by half an hour, then by 15 minutes, then by eight minutes, and then nothing. <laughs> I'm also very proud, and it's a big uh, victory for us, that we've started to be treated with respect and with dignity. And uh, over the past couple of years, that there's been m more respect towards the workers, the cleaners at Birkbeck. So I'm very proud of, of the, what we've accomplished in the past two years. <laughs> I'm sure that with, with sticking together, working together, being a union, we'll be able to achieve this and many more things, because the organizing and uniting is the secret to every success. Hasta la victoria, siempre. Hasta la victoria, siempre. The only other thing I have to say, comrades, is 
is that sticking together and fighting together, we're stronger. So as always, hasta la victoria. By far and away the most important part, part of the between us has been the support we've had from the students and the students union and the campaign that they've put on support of workers for the rights of dignity and equality and respect in this university. So I'm really proud to invite Georgie up from the students union to say a few words on behalf of <laughs> campaigns officer and first of all I just want to say thank you so much everyone for coming this is an incredible turnout especially for July and thank you so much really your support means everything in this campaign we the students academics and staff have the power to crash the management they think that they can silence and ignore the cleaners but when we come out and show this kind of support they cannot ignore us and basically, you know, we are, if we come out and, sh and say to the management that we believe that the cleaners are a vital part of our community and that we, that, that, and should be treated as such by the management, then they cannot ignore that because they are accountable to us. We are the SARS community, not them. It's us that make up SARS, not them. And they have to respond to us. Thank you. 